Hello YouTube land and welcome back to the Small Workshop Adventures. Here we are, another day, another job as I say. A uh, bit of housekeeping before we get started. If you're new to the channel, really click the like button and, uh, and subscribe. It's really, really appreciated. So what are we doing? <laughs> well, I am here in Weymouth. I wanted to say sunny Weymouth. The, the sun is trying to uh, break out. I understand that today, beginning of March here, that it's very cold and actually very, uh, also, also some uh, quite severe winter weather up the north of England uh, where, where we live. So we've got that going on at the minute. It's not that down here at the moment. And I don't think it's going to come. But anyway, here I am talking about the weather. Maybe I could be a weather reporter as well as what I do. Because I do talk about the weather sometimes. <laughs> Hilarious. Anyway, what are we doing? More importantly, um, we're going to be making a TV unit. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. A TV unit and uh, in, in somebody's lounge. Again, it's, it's built out of MDF, uh, but that's great. That's okay. That's a, a material that has been used a lot at the moment. And uh, it's, it's within somebody's budget. And it's about being able to afford things, isn't it? About supporting people to be able to do what they want to achieve, but doing it within a budget that they can afford. So that's what is really important, particularly in this 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 where we are at the moment at this time uh, in, in 2023. So uh, that's what we're doing. We're gonna be building a TV unit. So just looking at the space, and there we have it. That's the space we're gonna be building the TV side. And this side is just gonna be a nice little chest at sort of just a, a small height uh, to mirror what's going on there, but not with the wall unit side of it. So that's where we're gonna have a TV unit. So first thing I'm going to be doing, obviously, is starting to mark out and start cutting the MDF. So that's the first bit. just been cutting out the for the aerial box to go in there so that we can access that through the cupboard threading the cable which is going to go around the side and we've got these side bits to fit and support that away from the skirting and it will fit nicely um, same this side we've got the piece uh, which is going to go down the side there the filler piece down the side and it's just cut out around the uh, skirting board cool We have the base, uh, the base unit, or the cupboard unit at the bottom of the TV unit. So we've got the carcass essentially fitted and built in. So we carry on now. So back in the workshop, just gonna assemble some doors. I've made all the components. So we're just gonna put them together.
So I have just bought this jig. I was using this to mark out my holes, which I still actually do the basic marking out. Sorry, I get the camera on there. I was using that to mark out my holes and then just freestyle drilling it um, with a stop uh, on another uh, sim much, much simpler jig. I bought this, I've just had a go. Um, it's for concealed hinges, so that sits in there nicely. There you go. Um, so I think I've worked out how it works. That clamps on, it's much, much more stable. It's like a little drill press, a mini drill press for your, uh, for your combi drill. Uh, and it works brilliantly for concealed hinges. So here we go, we'll watch this and you'll see it. Pretty sure <laughs> there it is so I'm going to continue to do the other doors putting on the uh, concealed hinges so that's the hinges fixed on my doors I'm going I will do a review of this and uh, I might put, I'll put it in the link if I remember <laughs> uh, where I've got it but I'll actually do a review of how it actually works because I was actually learning. There's, it comes with a collet, so you set the uh, the depth and a little Allen key, which now I can't find. There it is. Found it on my bench. There it is. <laughs> Who loses things all the time? Not sure what this little brass bit is. But anyway, maybe I should have put that on as well. Not sure. Um, but anyway, that's a nice bit of kit. Um, I'll show you with that when it's taken off the drill. Right. It is Fonson Tools. There you go. You can see that. That is JL35 uh, slash or whatever that is, A1. Um, yeah, it's got the drill. But I'm going to leave that because that is now set for the, the distance for using. And it works on 18mm uh, doors. So material that is 18mm, which is sort of standard for uh, any cabinet doors, kitchen doors. So if you're going to do that, um, so there we go. I've got that set up now. Um, and you can adjust this accordingly to whatever thickness you're going into. Um, I think uh, concealed hinges only work up to around sort of that sort of 20, 22 mil thickness. Once you start getting more, then the concealed hinges don't work. So you've got to be around the 20, 18, 20 mil of cabinet doors to make concealed hinges work i think that's correct um i'm sure someone out there will uh will tell me um yeah nice bit of kit that's that makes uh, makes drilling the holes or drilling for the hinges a lot lot better so happy all right so i've got to cut the holes for the plugs to get through so I've got to cut a hole in there and around the back there because the telly will be up here so and all the sky boxes and playstations and things so I've got to have a, a hole that we can get the plugs down and into down underneath so uh, I fixed it now I've got to take it out and just cut the holes <laughs> anyway a bit of retrofitting <laughs> in it's got to be painted it's going to be painted white uh the customer's going to do that looking all right and across there 
looking nice. Nice job. So that's a nice little TV build. Uh, nicely done. Customer's happy. She's going to paint it, as I said. So uh, lots more on the channel, all sorts of stuff. Again, as a TV unit made out of MDF, uh, you, I'm sure you could do something similar. So, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.